A massive Game of Thrones-style ice wall may have blocked the path of the first Americans. Here's what that means. A massive wall of ice may have stopped the first people entering the Americas doing so via the land bridge that connected it with Asia, according to a study in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, which instead suggested they likely arrived via boats along the Pacific coast. Previous research has suggested an ice-free corridor between the ice sheets that covered North America at the time may have allowed for travel from Beringia, the landmass that connected Asia with North America, down to the Great Plains. However, analysis of geological samples from six locations found that the ice-free corridor did not fully open until about 13,800 years ago, whereas, according to Live Science, previous studies have discovered stone artifacts in central Mexico that were at least 26,500 years old, which would mean these earliest immigrant's path would have been blocked by ice sheets. These sheets may have been between 1,500 and 3,000 feet or 455 to 910 meters high, according to the new study, which makes them taller than any building on Earth. The new study adds to growing knowledge of who arrived when and how in the Americas, with the study last year finding that in terms of the first European presence in the Americas, the Vikings beat Christopher Columbus by 471 years. That study in the journal Nature used a massive solar storm to help prove the Vikings had crossed the Atlantic Ocean and settled in Canada by AD 1021. Scientists already knew the solar storm occurred between AD 992 and 993 and were able to use a technique that measures increases in atmospheric radiocarbon concentration to correlate its impact on trees at the Lons Meadows site on Newfoundland's northern peninsula with later Viking activity. The study reanalyzed wood excavated from the site in the 1960s, which had been cut using metal Viking tools otherwise unknown in North America at that point. It found distinctive marks in the tree rings from the solar storm, plus 28 annual growth rings formed after those marks. Adding 28 years to AD 993 showed Vikings had to have been cutting those trees in the year AD 1021, which means they arrived in the Americas 471 years before Christopher Columbus, according to The Guardian. Having established a presence in Iceland and Greenland before arriving at the Lonzo Meadows site, the Vikings likely traveled west to gather new raw materials, most notably wood, according to the study's lead author. Of course, the history of the Americas is not just a human history, and at the end of last year, scientists examined signs of trauma in thousands of dire wolf and saber-toothed cat bones in tar pits found in downtown Los Angeles to tell us more about the lives they lived. When animals would find themselves stuck in the pits and unable to escape, predators like dire wolves and saber-toothed cats saw easy meal opportunities. However, they too would underestimate the pool of the tar pits, often slipping in and dying alongside their own prey targets, and thousands of years Years later, researchers at UCLA, in collaboration with the La Brea Tar Pits and Museum, analyzed the injuries drawn from skeletal remains to better understand what their hunting strategies likely were. Researchers have long hypothesized that dire wolves chased down their prey with attacks from behind, with expectations that they suffered injuries to the skull and teeth. This, though, was wrong. In fact, a more common trend of neck injuries indicates the dire wolves likely bit down onto the bodies of huge prey in a packed effort to take them down. Saber-toothed cats, similar to the tigers of today, were ambush predators, but had much higher mortality rates due to hunting on their own for the same prey. Surprisingly, their skeletal specimens revealed a trend of shoulder and back injuries, giving us reason to believe their preferred method was to tackle prey to the ground before using their long teeth to fatally slash their targets. The analysis of roughly 35,000 bones was published in the journal Nature Ecology and Evolution. An amazing trove of fossilized footprints in America's New Mexico state tells the harrowing story of a woman and a two-year-old child's dangerous journey around 13,000 years ago. This according to a study published in Quaternary Science Reviews. Scientists who analyzed the footprints can see that the woman was carrying the child most of the way and that she was walking very fast and very straight in muddy sludge. She later returned the same way, this time without the child. After studying the 1.5-kilometer-long track of fossils, the researchers concluded that the woman must have been walking fast because of the many dangerous animals that frequented the area, including saber-toothed cats, dire wolves, and mammoths. In fact, a remarkable set of footprints shows that a group of mammoths and a giant sloth stepped into her tracks in the period between her first and second trip. Amazingly, she then stepped into the tracks of these extinct animals on her way back. The mammoths appeared to have been oblivious to her track as they just strode over it, but the giant sloth's reactions amazed scientists. The study says the sloth stopped over the human's track and then reared on its hind legs. 
In the words of the study, as the animal approached the trackway, it appears to have reared up on its hind legs to catch the scent, pausing by turning and trampling the human tracks before dropping to all fours and making off. It was aware of the danger. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.